What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, we will be covering how to use events, net events, and Oxlip callbacks to create scripts for your server or your projects. Make sure you guys also hit that like and subscribe button because only 50% of you guys are actually subscribed. It helps me a bunch. It's free. Make sure you guys use code Twizzle and Iceline Hosting to get 50% off your first month if you're looking for a great server host. So let's get right into the coding. So let's first make the FX manifest. So it's going to be the same way we always do it. So it's fx underscore version. And the version is going to be sir u l e n. I should probably show you what the script does here. So if I just do slash get name and then just do my ID, you can see player's name is Twizzle. So that's what we're making here. So, so fx version. So then we'll do also game, game, GCA5, description. Description is tw dash tutorial. So you don't need this part. So you can add you can add your version here if you want, but you don't need to. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do our server underscore scripts, and we're going to put our server because it's in a folder, and then server dot lua. And the next thing we're gonna do is client underscore scripts, and it's going to be client backslash client dot Lua. There we go. And then make sure you add your Lua 5.4. Yes. And then your experimental FX V2. Because whatever that does. If anyone knows what this actually does, let me know in the comments. Because that's like one thing I really have no clue what it does. I just see a lot of scripts use it. So if you guys know what to do. Know what it does. Let me know. Okay. So let's let's create the command. So head over to your client script. We're going to do red register command, and the command name is going to be get name, and it's going to be function, and it's going to be source. Actually, I don't think you really need args. All you I don't think you need source. All you need is args, and then we'll do if the length, which is the hashtag, remember, args. So this just is saying if args is not filled out, then, or if args is less than one, then we're going to trigger events. Actually, you know what we should do here? Let's make a function. Let's do local function send message message. And here it's just going to be text. So let's do text and we'll actually do header and then we'll do body. Okay. So then here we're going to do trigger event and it's going to be chat colon add message. Then you're going to do a comma and they're going to do squigglies and then you're going to do args equals and then it's going to be, it's going to be header and then you do dot dot space colon and then an, a, a colon space and then end the parentheses and then do a comma and then you're going to and then you're going to do body here so all we have to do now is we just do send message and here it's going to be client and the body is going to be uh you didn't provide a player i server id there you go so that will do that and make sure you actually um, pa you pass through like a number or a, a server ID. Next thing we do here is we're going to get the target ID. So we're going to do local or we're going to do, yeah, actually local target equals args. And then we'll just do one because it's the first argument. And then we got to make sure we two number this. So it's a number and not a string because we well, we need to get actually get the number. So it's target, it's just the player ID. And what we do here again is we make sure it can, well, so we'll if check this target. So we'll do if target, then we'll do, we're gonna call a event here, oh, but we're gonna do else, we're gonna do send message again, client, in valid server ID provided. There we go. And then we'll return off of this. So no other code goes through past it. 
And so this will trigger an event here that actually gets the player name for it for you. The next thing, let's do a add suggestion for this command here. So we're going to do trigger events and we're going to do chat and we're gonna do colon add suggestion. And it's going to be a comma and we're gonna put the command here. So it's gonna be get name and then another comma get a player's name via server ID. And then that's like the description. And we're gonna do a comma for the arguments. So the, and then you just do another, or not a comma, squiggly bracket, another squiggly bracket. And then you do name equals player server underscore ID, and then a comma. And then this is actually the description or a comma. And it's gonna be help equals the server ID of the player. And then that is just how you do that. And we, I put a period instead of a comma. So that is just how you add a chat suggestion to said command. Uh, next thing we need to do here is we're going to actually display the name of the player of said player on the client that called it. So we need to actually register a net event here. And it's going to be, what did I just do? I did not mean to do that. Sorry. It's just going to be TW under. So remember script name testing and then what side it's on and then what it does display name. And then you just do function and player name here. So that's just the argument. And then all we have to do here now is we just do send message and we do clients and then we do player name. So that will display the name. We should probably do some fancier stuff here and we'll just do player's name, dot, dot, dot. And then it will just display the player's name there for us. So let's head over to our server.lua file and let's actually create the net event for the reg or request the name. So let's do same thing, register, net events and we are going to do tw underscore testing we're going to do oh my gosh server underscore get player player name and we do comma and we're gonna do function oh lordy lordy lord and the argument here is going to be targets and then remember we got to call this function so go back to here so we're going to do trigger server event the event name and then the target which is just target so that will pass the target to this event so all we need to do is local player name equals get player name and then we just do targets because that is that and then we do if player name then we want to this we want to display the name so we want to call this event here so trigger server event and we want to trigger this on source and then we want to pass through player name so source is just wherever this event is being called that's all sources and then from this we return because we don't need to do any other code after and we do else and so now we need to what if the player is not found right so this is actually where we need to go into here we're going to add this we're going to take this here we're going to trigger a client event and then this one also needs a source now so we just pass through source like that it's um and then you pass through source and then we instead of how we have it set up here since we're only going to call this once we're just going to do server and then we just add our body here however we want. So we just do player not found. Try a new server ID. So that will just make sure, do a little null check for player name. And then that is that. So if we head back into our code, into our server here, and we do ensure TW underscore testing, or maybe it's TW colon testing. There we go. Um, I'm working on migrating all my resources to use an underscore instead of a hyphen. And if we just do get name and you see it says players underscore server underscore ID and then the little uh, help thing under it. 
We do this. We get player names via server ID, and it changes because of the suggestion. We'll do player one. You see, we actually got an error there. And I don't know why we got an error. Uh, let me check here. Oh, because uh, something is wrong in, uh, this, in the command on line 8. So if we go back to line 8. So it's failing to fetch the length of this command, probably because of just a way I did it. Um, so let's just put it to how my notes were. I didn't think I had to do this, but maybe you do have to do it like this. Um, oh, there we go. It seemed to actually load the command, which is good. So you see, we got another error here on on server on server line five because we're trying to trigger a server event here. Uh, where it just needs to be a client event. There we go. And if we just do that, and then we try it again here, you go, player name is dot, 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 twizzle. There we go, a little bit of bugs here. But since we're not using source, you can underscore this, and then raw command, you don't even need, since you are not using it, you'll see it will still work. There you go. Okay. So now let's do the exact same thing, but with just callbacks. So commands... Here we go, we got the same thing. So this is what we need to change. So we go to server and we're just going to do callback. And you see lib.callback.register and we're gonna take the exact same callback name here, but instead we're actually gonna put CB here so we know, we'll do CB underscore. And we are going to take this exact same code from here, paste it into here, and we're actually instead, we're going to return player name instead. So we're going to return player name. That is literally how easy it is. You just pass through. Um, you just it's almost the same same way. So, and then this will just return. So here you don't even really. We could do this differently. So instead of returning this, we're just going to return false, or we're going to return an empty. Or mm, let's just return false. Or nil. No, we'll just return nil. Okay. So we don't even need to do that either. So this this is we'll do this call back here okay so make sure you guys have this part here and then we'll go up here we're gonna do local using c, c cb and we'll do equals true so we can keep if target then we're also going to do if not using cb then we'll do this event and we'll call this and we'll actually return off of this because that logic will do it so then we don't have to do anything else here okay so now let's do a callback so we're gonna do local player name equals lib dot callback dot await and paste your paste your callback and you're gonna do comma false or also a delay and then you're gonna pass through an argument so there is your argument that you need to do there and so what we'll do here, we'll do if player name, we'll do if not player name, or oops, I spelled it differently. If not player name, then we're actually going to send a message here. We'll do client player's name is, and we'll do dot dot player name. And then off of this, we will return. Well, honestly, you don't really have to return since there's no other logic, but if there was other logic, then you would do that. And then here you would do clients. And so we're going to, we're going to do couldn't fetch player name. There we go. So that's how you could use callbacks. So we're going to do callbacks true. We're going to re, we're going to reinsure here. But I did something wrong because if you're going to use callbacks, you actually need to go into your FX manifest and then you need to go into shared underscore scripts and you need to add, what is it? I th I forget. So if you're going to use the oxlib callbacks, you need to go into your shared and you need to do at ox underscore lib backslash I N I T dot Lua. There you go. So now we can use oxlib stuff. If I do a quick refresh and then we ensure it again, there you go. So if I do get name, you can see couldn't fetch player's name. So it's most likely something is throwing. Here we go. Trigger server events. Something is still wrong. 
uh, we are probably triggering a server event somewhere where we shouldn't be triggering a server event. Server line five, line five trigger client event, but it's still saying trigger server event for some reason. Wait, that's an old error. So we should actually, what we should do here, if we should do if player name. I did it backwards. Don't do if not player name. There you go. Player name is Twizzle. And you can see it actually worked. This error is not being thrown right now. So that is how you can do it with callbacks and net events. Um, and that's just a simple command there. So for your guys' quote unquote homework, someone said that 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 they would like it, uh they would like it if I start adding challenges to the end, which I kind of been doing, but I'm going to make it more prevalent here. I want you guys to take this logic here and create a teleporting script. Teleport to a player, do a bring command and a go to command where you can do slash go to and then an ID and a slash bring and, a, and an ID and it'll do that logic on whatever player you're doing it on. I'd like to see that or maybe even like a give weapon um, commands where you can do give slash give weapon and then put a weapon hash and then the player's name. Or the player ID, but yeah, expand it. Let me see. Let me see what you guys are doing. But that's all I got for you today. Make sure you guys have a good rest of your day, night, morning, wherever in the world, and peace out.